Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, I defeated the Master! Twice! I'm definitely going to wait though because, like I said, his third and final farm is the most difficult enemy in the game. Like seriously, he's so strong he will one-shot me every time with how little HP I have. Actually, he might have been able to do that with his second form. Never really gave him the chance to attack. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a little exploration some more, and soon enough we'll make our way to Koopa Koot for more Koopa Koot quests. Hey guys, my mom's... she's really into this book she's reading. Let me guess, it's a mystery novel? I guess it's really interesting. She doesn't play much anymore. My mom's reading it, too. It was written by some guy named Herringway. That, that sounds like a pun. Mom says it's a real page-turner, but that is not for children. I tried to sneak a peek, but she caught me. Who'd want to read it anyway? Grown-up books are boring. You know, he's not wrong. A lot of people around here say that there's something inside that pipe in the town, but... I don't believe one word of it. Well, think about it. If there really were something, that'd be really creepy. So, do you think it's just scenery? Um, I suppose it would make sense. There are plenty of scenic pipes in the Mario universe. But I'm pretty sure every pipe in this game has led somewhere. People often ask me if I don't get bored going for walks in the same place every day. But I don't get bored at all. It seems like something changes a little bit every day. Hey, I hear ya. That's why I always go around talking to people in between every chapter. You never know that they might have something new to say. They don't have anything new to say. Mario, you're really rolling on this adventure of yours, aren't you? Kicking Koopa. We read all about it on the town bulletin board. You make the headlines all the time. But, well... Are you gonna say the princess soon or what? Hey, that's not cool. Don't be rude to the man. Uh, who do I want to talk to here? That whale. It seemed like it was hurting before, but it looks fine now. Anything that big is bound to be a little scary at first, but now that I'm used to it, it's actually really cute. It makes me want to write a serenade for it. Okay, go ahead and do that. But, um, try to have somebody else sing it. Welcome to Club 64. You believe this? That whale's been really good for the biz. All these people come for the whale and stay for the food. This joint's been jumping. Yes. Jumping. Hello, Mario. I heard you went over to Flower Fields recently. I've never been there myself, but the elder at Koopa Village, the esteemed Koopa Koot, told me once about the time he journeyed to Flower Fields in the days of his youth. According to his tale, he valiantly saved a big tree called Wise Wisterwood. Old Koopa Koot, he's told me a million stories about his travels. He was a famous explorer when he was younger, probably the most famous Koopa in the land. Perhaps it was Koopa Koot's influence that led Colorado into the adventuring life. Huh. Interesting. And now the trend is continuing with Cooper here. Yeah, I remember your backstory, Cooper. I know you haven't had much to say, but I remember it. Flowers. 
flower fields, Lava Lava Island. So many places I have never seen with my own eyes. I wish I could travel all over this world like you do. What's stopping you? I decided that, in my next life, I'm going to be a fish. And all I'm going to do is drive that fish mail nuts all the day long. Hoo-wee! That is an interesting concept, I gotta say. One I'm definitely familiar with. What do you guys think? The concept of having another life. Dying and then being reincarnated as something else. If that were for legit, what would you want to be reincarnate reincarnated as? Myself, I would probably want to be someone's pet, like a dog, an animal belonging to a caring family. Emphasis on caring. A family who cares about me so much that they don't spate me. Also female. I just would hope that I remember remember my old life finding yourself in as an animal and being someone's pet would not be as interesting if that is the only life I know it would be easier to appreciate my new life if I could remember my old one oh what luck yes very kind of you don't usually ask for favors. There is one thing. I have an old boot friend who lives in Gusty Gulch. Can you go and get a package from him? You may have a little trouble finding him, since the booze there look pretty similar. I'm sure you can do it, though. A long time ago, when Goompa, Bootler, and I were traveling, we met the Boo and became fast friends. He recently sent me a letter saying that there is a package there addressed to me. What are you waiting for? Go on to get it! I mean... Please? Alright, I guess I'm gonna do that. While I check for cut Chuck Quizmo. There he is! Alright, where is the house of the Explorer Colorado? Right here in Koopa Village. You know, I have another possibility if I were to have another life and reincarnated. I would be a skunk. Now, I know what you're saying. You're already a skunk, but hear me out. Hypothetically, this universe is so big that somewhere out there, there is a planet of skunk people. Where instead of humans, there are skunk people. I mean, hypothetically speaking, it's entirely possible that there could be a world where there is a race of people evolved from sp skunks. And the reason this interests me is not just because of, you know, being with my own kind, but what would society be like? I'm very curious about that. Because, like, well, the question being, would it be a stinky world? Would people be spraying all willy-nilly because everybody's a skunk? Or maybe there would be some sort of restraint, like people don't like the smell, therefore they don't use it. Heck, maybe in this world of skunks, spraying would be seen as taboo. It's an interesting thought, I gotta say. Which is why I said it. Hi, Mario. You're looking good as usual. You need to be a you need to be paler if you want to be a proper ghost. Take my face for example. It takes a lot of work, but look how pale I am. What? You've seen paler? Really? Yeah, actually just head to the mansion a couple screens away and you'd find paler. Has my naughty friend played any spooky tricks on you yet? It'd be a shame if you came all the way out to Gusty Gulch and didn't get messed with. Oh, hello. 
You're running an errand for old Koopa Koot, are you? Uh-oh. Now, where did I... I wasn't really ready for this. Where did I leave that thing? I'd better go look for it. Um, do you think you can wait for just a second? I should find it soon enough, so why don't you kill some time by wandering around here? Can you wait a little while longer? I'm still looking. No, you're not. You're just floating there. Strikeback says, Skunks have sensitive noses, so I imagine spring would be kept to a minimum. You know, that's exactly the case. I'm, I'm, I'm sure some people out there might think that, hey, because we spray everything, we must like the smell of our own spray. Not really. Not unless you're the sort of person who enjoys the smell of your own fart. And most people don't. I'm a ghost named Herbert. Isn't that a great name? My grandmother named me. My ancestors lived in that castle for many generations. They were great ghosts. I want to be that great. I want to be so scary that no one will ever forget me. You know, I am super duper curious. There is still that one ghost who is left inside Tubba Blubba's castle. I want to see whether he is still there. I'm pretty sure he is. More importantly, I'm curious if he has anything interesting to say. There's also the question of whether Tubba Blubba is there. While I'm at it, I suppose I should go ahead and check. No, he won't be there. Never mind. Because when he, we defeated him, he ran off in the other direction somewhere. So yeah, at this point, this place is probably almost certainly abandoned. Although it has been reconstructed. Now, who went and did that? Well, now I'm, like, super curious, and is this place abandoned? Well, it was definitely worth coming here just to discover that nobody's here anymore. Well, in that case, it's definitely worth looking around to see if anybody else is here. Um, yeah, this way. The ghost would be this way. Of course, I'm not going to explore the entire place. I will at least check Tubba Blubba's room, though. Oh, wait, never mind. There's no ghost in here. Well, if that boo that was in here is no longer here, then it's probably a safe assumption that he's not anywhere. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother looking around for any other booze. But the knowledge that this place is completely abandoned now, that is definitely information that I feel was worth learning. Okay, you know what? Let's speed this up a bit. I don't need to be spin dashing everywhere. I have a cloud. Admittedly, like a Lester, or sorry, Spike is not as fast as spin dashing, I guess. In fact, there's a badge I could use where I could spin dash even further. Uh, I don't have any badge points that I can equip it, though. Which badge is it? The speedy spin? Nah. I don't feel like messing with my badges right now. You know what? Spin dashing would be faster. Just as long as I make sure to jump after every dash. Or it certainly feels faster anyway. Oh boy. Let's not waste any time in any of these battles. At this part in the game, they probably won't get any, give us any experience. Also, Matty Ratty says that he likes his own fart smells. That is weird. My dear Victoria has also come back safe and sound. I was desperate when she was first eaten by Tubba Blubba, that's for sure. Now I'm by her side again. What? You can't see her? <laughs> of course not. She's a ghost, Mario. I finally made up my mind. I'm going to confess my feelings for the lovely Victoria. 
but how to tell her? First, I figured I'd express my feelings by giving her a present like, you know. Here's a fire flower to show how hot the flame of my passion burns. Or... Are you shocked to know my love? Here's a Voltstrom. Or... Gah! I can't decide! Which line do you think would work better? Um, I don't know. Um... You guys in the Twitch chat? What would you think is better? Also, um... I was wrong about farting smells and who it was. It wasn't Maddie Ratty. <laughs> Sorry! It was actually Ice! Hi Ice! Welcome to my stream! It is confusing when you all have almost identical colors. Maddie Rowdy says, Fire Flower? Is there another option? Do we have another option? Strike Back says, Voltstrom? Uh, how about Ice? Do you have a tiebreaker suggestion? So I'm gonna have to pay extra attention to whose name is who since we have people with the similar colors. Well, I'm not really seeing a decision, so just for the sake of saving time and not waiting around too long, I'll be the tiebreaker. Let's go with Voltstrom. Oh. Okay. Thanks. I'll do it. You don't seem entirely optimistic about that choice. For the record, he would not have been optimistic about the other choices, uh, uh, the other choice either. Now then, what to do? What to do? Who should I scare? I want to hear people shriek and watch them run away yelling. That's what makes booze happy. So, if you could, when a booze scares you, try to be as terrified as possible, okay? Alright. Hold on, there's something else I wanted to talk to. Was it you? No. I don't think. No. There was another boo here. Oh, it was you. It seems like fewer and fewer people are getting lost and coming around here recently. I haven't even tried my new way of terrifying people yet. I've been practicing for ages. Maybe I should start wishing to the stars for people to lose their way more often. Then we'll be in business. I actually wanted to talk to you last, actually, now that I think about it. Keep that message in mind. Hey, Mario. Have you saved all the star spirits yet? I wonder why I care. I don't even know if the star spirits listen to the wishes of ghosts. Well, certainly not if you wish that they... that people get lost in the forests. I sure hope they do. You know, I kind of hope to, so too, because if I die, I still want my wishes granted. Pardon me, Mario? Bruh! Oh, right. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Another score! Boy, nobody scares people like that, boo. Wow! just a flawless appearance. It takes my breath away. Actually, if we're splitting hairs, I'm a ghost, so I don't actually breathe. No, nah, I would actually bring that up as well. Thank you for waiting. I finally found it. I can't believe it took me so long to track it down. Anyway, please give my regards to Koopa Koot, okay? And take care. Hey, there we go. Alright, enough wasting time here. Let's go ahead and get over to Koopa Koot, see if we can finish some more of his errands.
Is this the first one we've done this today? The first Koopa Koot thing? I need to hurry up and do the other two before the next episode break. So let's definitely rush a little while also still keeping an eye out for Chuck Quizmo. Livid Lava Piranhas! You rule, Mario! Ah, yes. This is the package I requested. Ever since my boo friend sent me that letter, I've been dying to know what's inside. Well, I'll find out right now. After you leave. Here, take this as thanks. Don't be polite. What luck. People keep talking about something called a coconut. They say they're delicious. I just have to try one. Go right away if you can. Promise to hurry back? I'll hurry. Definitely gonna hurry as soon as... I check for, uh, for uh, Chuck Quizmo. Nope, not here. Alright, now let's go ahead and make our way to Yoshi's Island. Or Lava Lava Island, rather. I won't spend too long there. I will, at the very least, talk to one of the Yoshi kids, though. There is one of them that I feel like is especially cute. Hey! It's Mario! Are you back for another exciting adventure? I didn't miss you, but the other four really did. If you want, you can hang with me for a while. You know, just chill. I won't even talk to you or anything. Tiki, you could even tell me about your adventures if you want. Oh, I would love to just sit around to these Yoshi kids and hang out with them. But I can't. While I'm here... Nope, ch no Chuck Quizmo. Alright, let's just go ahead and deliver this coconut back then. I says, Almond Joy for the win. I have not had Almond Joy before, but I probably wouldn't like it. Because sometimes you feel like a... I never feel like a... I don't like coconut. The texture just bothers me. Great crawling cliffs. You're larger than life, Mario. Hmm. How do you crack this thing? Ah, well, I guess I'll try it later. I'll give you this to show you my gratitude. Yay. I wouldn't mind getting one of those red jars that they say were made in Dry Dry Desert's ancient desert kingdom. According to popular opinion, you can get one if you buy things in a certain order at the shop in Dry Dry Outposts. First you buy a dusty hammer, then you go ahead and get a dry pasta, then uh, you get another dusty hammer, and then... let me see... Hang on, I've forgotten the other thing. Yeah. Well, you have to figure out the rest. But do hurry. I really want one. Do I have your word? It is slightly lame that he doesn't know the last thing you need to buy because that means if you don't know, you'll be wasting coins trying to figure out what the last item is. Thankfully, I know exactly what the last item is. So let's go ahead and take care of this. But first... Nope, not here. Say, is that... a fourth degree card? Whoa! I wouldn't want to tingle with you, Mario. No, you would not. How's my inventory looking like? I should store something.
Let's go ahead and store... Maple syrup. Because I'm about to buy stuff. So, let's see here. Dusty hammer. Dry pasta. Dusty hammer again. And the last thing is a dried shroom. What ho! Buying goods in that order is a secret sign. It was written in an ancient will. Now who went and wrote that? In keeping with the will, I'm required to give you this. Please take it. A jar at Little Mouser's shop. A collector's item, perhaps? The shop is weird. Uh, sadly do not have enough coins for another spell to be cast on me. One last look for Chuck Kuzma over here. There he is! What is the destination of the train which departs from Toad Town Station? Mount Rugged. If he wanted to be really tricky, he would add Dry Dry Desert to the list. But that was pretty obvious answer. Alright, 22 questions down, and there's 64 total. Got another 42 questions to go. I'm definitely going to have to grind for Chuck Quizmos. Swooping Sky Guys! You're a true workhorse, Mario! Incredible! Outstanding! Ew, it's a little filthy though. I suppose I'll add it to my collection anyway. Stand up guy! Don't tell anybody. Reputation. Oh, it's Mario, is it? Nice weather we're having, hmm? I can't think of any favors I need at the moment. I bet I'll need one later though. Alright, that is it for Koopa Koop for the time being. We're going on break. We'll be right back. And when we come back... Um... I guess we can start Chapter 6. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> 